you. We've lost the heat that some of us had earlier on this week, but don't despair. There's still a fair amount of dry weather in the forecast for this weekend. Good afternoon. A bright start first thing this morning, lots of sunshine, but you'll have noticed it was feeling a little bit fresher. We've lost the humidity, but we've still got the sunshine. Now, we have seen the cloud bubbling up ever since. Still some bright spots, just see one or two sunny spells as well. Now, there is quite a bit of cloud around this afternoon, but we will see some brighter spells, also some sunny spells mixed in. Next up, a Glastonbury first. No K-pop act has ever played the Pyramid stage. 17 will be on there. Last year, only Taylor Swift sold more albums in the world than them. Part of a very eclectic lineup this afternoon, which includes Lulu over at the Avalon stage. You've got the 2000s pop act Sugar Babes at West Holtz. But tonight it is all about Dua Lipa and what surprise guests she will have. If there's a stage full of Kens at any point, the audience is going to be very happy. Glastonbury's also had 17, the first K-pop band on its bill. The party here at Worthy Farm is only just beginning. Katie Razzle, BBC News, Somerset. Hi there, Anna. Thank you very much. A little bit uh, cloudy at Glastonbury right now, but we may see a bit more sunshine developing through this afternoon. The weekend not looking too bad. I don't think there's going to be too much mud around. It'll be largely dry, maybe just a few spots of rain on Sunday morning. And actually, the picture is similar for most of us this weekend. A fair amount of dry weather around. But it was not a dry start to today in the north of Scotland. In fact, we had a lot of cloud. We had some outbreaks of rain. Hello there, good evening. A very different feel compared to recent days. Uh, on Wednesday we had 30 degrees, yesterday 25, today more like 22. But numbers do edge up a little bit again for tomorrow, a summery feeling day. Sunday a bit more complicated, possibly a damp start, a bit of a cloudy start, brightening up, but a fresher feel I suspect. A greyer beginning to the day, brightening up, but temperatures do tend to fall away a little. And then variable cloud, a little bit of rain, but not much into next week, and that fresher feel again. Well, it might be good news for this little creature here, but bad news for hay fever sufferers. We are looking at very high pollen levels through the weekend and into the beginning of next week. Take care. Have a good one. Rita, it's been quite a pleasant day out there at Worthy Farm, but actually for many of us, some spells of sunshine around. We have had a few showers. This is the picture in Conway, North Wales, just a little bit earlier on. So some morning showers there. They faded away to leave a little bit more sunshine during the afternoon. And actually through the course of the weekend, we've got a bit more of the same to come, some spells of sunshine. And actually most of us fairly dry and settled, but there are just one or two showers through the course of the weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Lots of events happening up there this weekend. Yeah, and of course, Pride, London, lots of yeah. rainbows around. Will there be any in the sky, though? <laughs> well, you need rain to make a rainbow. So probably not too many of them because actually things are looking reasonably dry for us through the course of the weekend. We had some spells of sunshine around today. There was the picture at Kew Gardens. Probably a bit more of that blue sky, though, coming through tomorrow. So And tonight, Becky is being particularly brave to bring us the weekend forecast. Where are you, Becky? Well, I have to say, it is hard not to have that Friday feeling here on the top of the O2 Arena. It's absolutely extraordinary. The views across London are absolutely amazing. And I have to say, I'm very grateful not to be standing here kind of slow roasting in the 30 degree heat that we had earlier this week. It certainly was very warm indeed. Wasn't it lovely to have that taste of summer? Although, of course, you may have noticed that plenty of people still moaned about the weather. There was no pleasing everybody. I have learned that in my 24 years of doing this. But the heat wave now is definitely over at the moment. If we have a look, you can see the temperatures peaked at around 30.5 degrees on Wednesday, making it our hottest day of the year so far. 23 degrees recorded today, so really quite a lot less, but and probably quite a welcome change for many people because uh, hot is very hot, isn't it, here in the UK? We're really not used to it. Now, there are plenty of people who are actually going to be camping this weekend, so you may actually be wanting a little bit more of that heat. Of course, it is Glastonbury Festival happening this weekend. Now, the usual traditional headliner is mud. I don't think mud is going to be making an appearance this weekend because, amazingly, it is actually going to be basically dry for you. The best chance of any sunny spells will be over the weekend, and if you are 
are hardcore and you're hanging in there until Monday, a little bit cloudier, but as I say, definitely going to be a lot of dry picture. Let's have a look now at the forecast. So a bit of a step change in our weather over the next couple of days. It's not all bad, but it's certainly more unsettled than what we've seen recently. If we have a look, you can see it's sunny spells, often dry, some rain around, mostly across the northern and western areas, I think. And it is going to be fairly cool and breezy in the north, mild and humid in the south. So I'm wishing you all an absolutely lovely weekend. And no matter what happens next in my career, I can say to every single person that I have played the O2 Arena. <laughs> well, sort of. Thanks, Becky.